Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in our previous video, we already discussed about what is a Google Compute Engine. We created our first VM instance and then in last video, we created our first web application on a Google Compute VM instance. Now in this video, we are going to work on the startup script and we are going to implement some of the VM configuration task or application deployment or software installation using the startup script. So first we'll see what is a startup script and then we'll directly jump into the demo and we'll automate application deployment using the startup script okay so just first jump into startup script and try to understand what is a startup script so startup script is a script that runs automatically when a compute engine vm instance boots up or a restart so as we say a boots up it means when your compute engine vm instance created for a very first time okay so this is exactly similar to the user data in aws okay so you is a user data script execute when your ec2 instance boots up for the first time okay now it allow you to configure a vm or install software during the initialization so whenever you want to install some software on the vm restart or vm boot up you can use this startup script now what are the use cases for the startup script so installing the software automatically install the Apache Nginx or other tools required for your organization so configure environment so let's suppose your all VM instance should be using the Python or Terraform okay any of these application and if you have 20 virtual machines or 100 virtual machines so when the virtual machines are created so logging into each of the virtual machine and then installing all these software is a not a good practice so what you can do you can do startup script and just put the installation script there so whenever the vm instance is created it will just deploy your dependencies it will install your dependencies and this all task can be automated using the startup script okay then start your application or service upon boot so all these tasks you can automate using the startup script so how we can use a startup script so either you can provide the script using the vm creation or you can just use the script in the gcs storage bucket okay so in this video we are going to automate the stuff using both the options so first we'll create the startup script and then we'll use it for the application deployment from the vm creation and then we'll use shell script from the storage bucket for the application deployment and we'll see how it works in both the cases okay now let's jump into demo i'll go to google cloud console and start creating our virtual machine and we'll try to automate application deployment using the startup cloud console so let's just go to the compute engine section okay and let's try to create compute engine so let's click on create instance okay and let's try creating our VM instance, I'll just give the name as a web server. Okay. And the OS and image, I will use the Debian one again. Networking, I'll just allow HTTP, HTTPS traffic. And then I'll just use the default network. I will use external IP. And now I'll go to advanced so in advanced section you can see the automation section and you have a startup script option here so for now I will just show you the script here so this is my simple bash script so this is a index.html so you can just ignore this for now because this is if I show you this is a simple a four liner script only my index.html is bigger here so I'll just copy this script and I'll just put in the automation section so I'm not performing any of the customization and I'll simply go and create my VM instance now here I'll show you how our startup script executes where we can check the logs and if it fails how we can troubleshoot that okay so now our instance is getting created so let's wait for some time now you can see if I go and click here or I'll simply copy the IP and directly try to see so immediately it will not show application it will take some time for your application to boot up okay so currently it will not show refuse to connect it means nothing is running on that port 
so let's wait for some time now application you know our web server is pen running but application is still not showing here so just refresh okay and now we can see a default a debian page now it should be replaced by our application page if no error okay so let's check here so this is so the command till this command it will show our default nginx a default apache page but it is still showing the default page and now you can see it's showing our application so let's see where we can check the all the logs how our startup script execution started see here okay let's go to a uh, web server and where you can check the startup script log so here you can see serial port one console okay so here click here and here you can see all the execution logs so either you can just do control F startup okay and here you will see all your startup script log okay so I'll show you our script execution as well so all your script execution you will see here and also our yeah HTML file this is our HTML file welcome to tech capture so this execution you will see here and finish running startup script so if you want more detailed login you can just add these statements here for logging like static startup script or finish startup script so you can add that it if you are not able to see your application you have to check the logs in the serial port here so serial port 1 output you can check the logs now hope you understood how we deployed our application without logging into a VM instance using the startup script now that was executing your startup script directly from a VM creation now instead of using that script at the VM creation let's have example I have to execute the same set of installation on a multiple server so putting that script in all the code or all the VM instances is not a best practice so what I can do I can create one shell script I can add that shell script in the storage bucket and for all VM creation I will just pass that shell script from the storage bucket and it will install all required installations dependencies or a deployment from that same script so what I will do now I'll just try to create shell script and upload to the storage bucket and we'll create one more VM instance which will execute the startup script from the storage bucket directly okay so let's first create a storage bucket so I'll just go and create one storage bucket first and I'll just go to our script as well so this was our script I'll just try to save this script and I will just name it as a script dot search so I'll just give the name as a script dot sh okay and I'll save it okay, so let me close this existing file and save again okay now I saved this file I will upload it to the storage bucket first let me create the storage bucket I'll go to storage bucket I'll create one bucket and I will give the name something like BKT startup scripts demo 01 okay so some unique name I have to give so I'm just giving that name and simply I'll create now one more important step I just doing it in Windows so you have to just change this format from windows so this you can see to a unix one or it will fail for the characters i'll save it again and now this sh format i'll just upload to the storage bucket so i'll just upload this script.sh to the storage bucket okay now i'll create one more vm instance so i'll just create one more vm instance and try to execute the same application deployment script from the storage bucket instead of passing directly into the VM instance 
so I'll just give the name as a web server 2 okay and now I'll go to networking allow HTTP HTTP traffic default network now add ones okay so here in automation script now I won't put anything I will use a metadata so what is a metadata so you have to check in the GCP documentation GCP startup script metadata and how you can pass the script from the storage bucket that is mentioned in the documentation so either you can pass directly so the startup script using metadata key is passing into your automation section so I'll use this metadata key okay so I'll just add metadata I will use this key URL and URL I'll just give my storage bucket URL so either you can give this URL or you can give this URL but make sure your VM is having access to this file that you can verify I'll show you where we can verify so I have given the path here I will also give one more startup script from the local so what I will do I will just add one more statement from local so I will just add echo and I will just write startup script from local or VM creation okay and then from the GCS bucket this I am adding just to see which script executes first and in this also I will add statement script from GCS okay so we'll understand which script is executing first just to understand the order of execution so now let me execute this file again because we updated this file just upload this file again just override okay now where to check the access for the storage bucket so here check the service account and this is I'm using the compute engine default service account so this is having editor role if you are using the custom service account just make sure you are giving read only access at least to your GCS bucket object so you it can read your file so in default access you will have a read only role so for access scope or you can just set for the storage one so here if you go for the storage it is read only so you can go with the default one that is sufficient for this startup script and now I'll just go and create virtual machine now let's see how it will execute both the startup script one we pass directly and it is printing startup script from the local and one we pass from the GCS bucket which is doing actual application deployment so let's try to refresh okay just copy this IP and let's see so it will take some time but let's try to see okay so let's go to the logs now just open the serial logs where we can check the startup script logs so we can check in the serial port and now just scroll down at the bottom okay so not yet started so just refresh it and wait for startup script now you can see this is startup script from the VM creation executed and from here startup script from the GCS is started executing so it means our startup script from the GCS bucket is executing fine let's reload here and now we can see our application is up and running so it executed the startup script which we uploaded to the storage bucket and just for confirmation we printed this message and it is executing see startup script from GCS is started executing and it just deployed our simple Apache web application on the VM instance so suppose if you have a lot of installation and the same setup installation you have to execute on hundreds of VMs so directly instead of directly passing to the VM code you can just put the bash file or shell script in a storage bucket and you can just pass the URL of the file in your VM creation so that is the best practice you can follow
for this startup script now hope you understood how to use startup script with both the way with using the direct execution or from the storage bucket so that's it for this video and we'll see you again in a next video